In this video, let's go over a easy example for solving a linear equation, as well as a hard example for solving a linear equation. So the easy one is going to give you that foundation, right? Whenever we're solving linear equations, especially like multi-step with parentheses and brackets, we always want to get down to this two-step equation. All right. So our being able to understand and be able to solve two-step equations effectively and understand how to do them is very, very important. But then we get to the hard one because this is the one where students are going to make mistakes and then probably the one that your teacher is going to put on the test, even though they only teach you this, right? I know. I heard it too. So let's go ahead and break down how to solve a two-step equation, the basic way going through the steps so you understand, and then let's apply that understanding to a more difficult problem where students make mistakes. All right. So quick review. When we want to be able to solve a two-step equation, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the X all by itself. And you can see this X is being multiplied by three and it's being subtracted by four. So what we want to do is we want to undo the operations that are being applied to the X. But more importantly, we want to undo using the reverse order of operations, meaning we have two operations that are being applied to this X, right? It's being multiplied by three and being subtracted by four. We want to undo addition and subtraction before we undo multiplication and division. So in this case, you can see we have multiplication and subtraction. I need to undo my subtraction first. So to do that, all I'm simply going to do is add a four over here, right? If you subtract four, now you add four, that's undoing it. But again, remember our properties of equality, whatever you do on one side, you have to make sure you do on the other side. So I'm going to add a four to both sides. That's going to give me the equation three X is equal to 15. Now you can see my X is being multiplied by three. So to undo multiplication, we are going to divide by a three on both sides and we're going to get an X is equal to five. Okay. So now let's go and apply that process to over here. And this is a problem where I see students make the same mistakes over and over. And I get it, right? This one's similar to this one, but there's a lot of things that are going on. So where do students make the mistakes here or what gets so confusing? There's a couple things. One, our variables in the denominator and two, our variable is negative. Anytime we're dealing with fractions or anytime we're dealing with negatives, students just make mistakes. So here's what I, here's the way that I like to approach this and what I tell my students. The first thing I always want to write my variable in front, right? The first thing. So see how this is a three X and then minus four. I want to put the variable in front. Now, remember though, it's very, very important to make sure you keep the signs consistent. This is a negative three C and this is a positive one, right? If it was a negative one, then we'd have a negative sign in front of it. So what I'm first going to do is rearrange this. So it's a negative three C plus one is equal to 13. This just helps me visualize. You don't technically have to do this, but again, in the purpose or the idea of avoiding mistakes, this helps me make sure I understand what I'm dealing with. Now, when we want to be able to solve for a variable, we can't have the variable in the denominator, right? You can see this was not in the denominator, so we didn't have to worry about it. Over here, we have to get it off the denominator. But before I have to worry about that, I understand though, I can undo my addition here, right? I need to undo addition before I go into deal with what's going on here anyways. So first step I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract um, a one on both sides. So that's going to give me a negative three divided by C is equal to a 12. Now it's important this negative, this could be written in top. It could be written in the bottom, or you could just write it down in front. It doesn't really matter. The main goal, what we need to do though, to solve for our C is we got to get C off the denominator right? So the fastest way to get something off the denominator is to find something that evenly divides into. Let me give an example. If I had eight divided by two, notice my two is in the denominator, right? Now I can get the two off the denominator by evenly dividing it into eight, which is now going to give me a four. Another example is if I had a one over two, and again, I wanted to, um, or one half is equal to, let's say three, if I wanted to get this two off the denominator, as long as I use my properties of equality and I multiply by two on both sides, does two evenly divide into two? Yes, it does, right? So it's going to give me one is equal to a six. I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, that's supposed to be an X. <laughs> Sorry about that. Had to be an equation. So if you had like a one half, one half X is equal to three. If you multiply by two on both sides, since two evenly divides into two, I, I'm just going to get a one and therefore I'm just left with one X equals six. Now, in this case, we have a C is in the denominator, but again, the idea, the process is exactly going to the same. I'm going to multiply by a C on both sides. What that is now going to allow me to do is my C divides into C one time. So that's going to leave me with a negative three is equal to a 12 C. All right. Now we have our operations on the right hand side, right? Which again can confuse students a little bit. But again, let's just ask ourselves the question, what is happening to the C? 
the C is being multiplied by 12. How do we undo multiplication? We are going to divide by 12. And again, we're going to do that on both sides. Now, I am going to have a fraction, a negative 3 divided by 12. And again, we just want to make sure we can reduce that. What can we divide the, top, the numerator and the denominator by the same number to simply reduce this? And hopefully you recognize that 3 and 12 are both divisible by 3. So if I divide a 3 and 12 divi divided by 3, that can reduce to a negative 1 fourth is equal to C. Now, again, if we want to rewrite this on the left-hand side, we get C is equal to a negative 1 fourth. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I only covered two examples. But if you'd like to see more examples of me solving um, linear equations, or you want some more practice problems, then go and check out the links for you I have for you down below. If you'd like to see another example of me going over a easy versus a hard example, then check out the next video I have for you here. Cheers.